if you could just tell us about the architecture and um, what would be like the first steps of rebuilding and you know also about your projects because you wanted to do like the this kind of like tunnel you know just building on top and stuff so I wanted to know more about that project and if it's gonna go you know and if you if you, if you have you signed already are you gonna start doing those projects? No no it's uh, I mean it's uh, it it's not commissioned it's not a uh, bid it's a competition proposal so uh, it's a UN habit I entered the, the UN habitat uh, rehabilitation uh, Competition is for rehabilitating mass housing around the world, uh, not uh, not in Syria. Uh, so my proposal was to rebuild uh, a locality that we had in Syria totally destroyed, and it was uh, it won uh, first uh, first position on national level. So uh, I mean. In terms of implementation, no one has the intention to implement the project, and this is not the idea of the project. It's it's not meant to, may it's it's not presented to be implemented. I think what what I wanted from my project is to show a way of uh, of how to think about uh, uh, rebuilding, where to start, how to ask the questions, what kind of study do you, and research do you need to do before, uh, how to include the visions and lifestyles of the people without um, without uh, letting go or surrendering your professions, staying professional and doing architecture that is not vernacular, but also it's it's archite serious architecture, serious building, but also including uh, the lifestyles and uh, the, the way that people live and how they can relate to their environment. So that was the point from, uh, from the project, from the proposal. I actually really liked it. I thought it was very original. I did, don't think it looked anything like the one, you know, the slide that you showed next to it, you know? Yeah, yeah it, is, it, it is quite yeah. different from yeah. the way that we are, uh, the mainstream way of building that we have in our country, and which I was very critical of in my book and the way I teach in the university. And uh, everywhere I, I try to, to convey the message is to, to to divert from this model that we happen to adopt, I don't know from where, but we adopted this model of just uh, building blocks and boxes for people. And uh, we had a, a rich history of architecture and replaced this and abandoned this uh, for the altern alternative of just mere building. So I guess uh, my proposal shows uh, a, a, just a way back to 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 the profession of architecture, a tribute to to what has worked in our uh, context and our built environment, and how to move forward, how to pick up this and move forward. Um, you talked a bit about um, how you think in Syria you used to have a certain style of architecture, and now it's become a bit more uniform, and you just build now. And mm. um, what do you think is unique to Syria? What do you really appreciate about it? Uh, the, the, the layerings. Every uh, it's not only me I mean this is the first thing that uh, anyone who lives there or visits uh, from outside will will see how those layers of so many different uh, civilizations uh, are just incorporated and blended in in and making an urban fabric and make, making an architectural fabric and place for people to live and belong and relate to yeah I'm happy <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.